Okay, we are now doing the last two questions of the stoichiometry practice problem worksheet, numbers 9 and 10. How many grams of sodium sulfate? So I'm asking for grams of sodium sulfate will be formed if you start with 200 grams of sodium hydroxide. So we're starting with 200 grams of sodium hydroxide and have an excess of sulfuric acid. Because of the word excess, we don't need that information. That means we won't run out of it, essentially. So in order to go from sodium hydroxide to sodium sulfate, first of all, make sure our equation is balanced. And then we need to get it into moles. In order to go to moles of one thing, um, in order to go from grams to moles, we need to figure out the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. So we have sodium, let me move that up there. Sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Sodium is 22.99. So we have one sodium at 22.99. That is equal to 22.99. We have one oxygen at 16.00. That equals 16.00. And one hydrogen at 1.01. .01. These numbers all came off the periodic table. So we're going to add them all up. And that comes out to be 40.0 grams of NaOH is needed for every one mole of NaOH. Okay, now we have the molar mass. We can get from grams to moles. Now we're going to go to moles to moles. Moles of one to moles of another. We're going to use the coefficients. Those are the big numbers in front that we use for balancing. Now to go from moles to grams, we're going to need the molar mass of Na2SO4. Knowing that we have sodium, sulfur, and oxygen. We have two sodiums at 22.99, which is then equal to 45.98. We have one sulfur at 32.07, which is equal to 32.07. And we have 4 oxygen at 16.00, which is equal to 64.00. We're going to add those numbers up. They come out to be 142.05, which means we need 142.05 grams of sodium, sodium sulfate for every one mole of sodium sulfate. Now we have all the information we need in order to do the conversion. 200 grams is what we're going to start with. That's our starting point. So we're going to put 200 grams of sodium hydroxide over 1. We have grams of sodium hydroxide on the top. That means we're going to put grams of sodium hydroxide on the bottom of the next one. If we look at our conversion factor, if we look at our molar mass, that's 40.0. That is equal to one mole of sodium hydroxide. So we have moles of sodium hydroxide on the top. We put moles of sodium hydroxide on the bottom of the next one. And here, we are right here in our process. We're going from moles to moles. We're going to be using coefficients to do that. So for every two moles of sodium hydroxide we need, we're going to form one mole of sodium sulfate. That shows the relationship between the two. Once we get it in moles of sodium sulfate, we can get it to grams of sodium sulfate by using the molar mass, which we calculated right here. Moles of sodium sulfate on the top. That means I want to put that on the bottom of the next one. One goes with that unit. That's equal to 142, so I'm going to put that on top of the next, uh, top of that line. So that's going to be 200 divided by 40, divided by 2, times 142, that comes out to be 355 grams of sodium sulfate. If we pay attention to the significant figures, there's only one significant figure in that question. Therefore, we're going to round it up. We can either round it up to three to 400, or we can round it down to 4. Or we can either round it up to 400 or round it down to 300. Okay. 
The last one is number 10. How many grams of lithium nitrate? So we're asking about lithium nitrate in grams will be needed to make 250 grams of lithium sulfate. So we have 250 grams of lithium sulfate. Assuming that you have adequate amount of lead for sulfate. That means all of this is extra information. We don't need any of that. So the equation is this. And the equation is already balanced for us, so we don't have to worry about that. Given the information about lithium sulfate, they're asking for lithium sulfate, they're asking us about lithium nitrate. That means that we need to get from one compound to another. In order to do that, we need to get it in moles first. In order to do that, we have to figure out the molar mass of lithium sulfate. Once we get, so we have lithium, sulfur, and oxygen. Two lithiums at 6.94 apiece is equal to 13.88. One sulfur at 32.07 is equal to 32.07. And four oxygen at 16.00 is equal to 64.00. We're going to add those up. And it comes out to be 109. 0.95. That means 109.95 grams of lithium sulfate for every one mole of lithium sulfate. Now that we're in moles of lithium sulfate, we, need, we can get some moles of lithium nitrate. We do that using the coefficients. And then we go from moles to grams by using the molar mass of lithium nitrate. So that means we need to calculate that now. So we have lithium, nitrogen, and oxygen. We have one lithium at 6.94. We have one nitrogen at 14.01. And we have three oxygens at 16.00, which is equal to 48. We're going to add these up. And that comes out to be 68.95. That means 68.95 grams of lithium nitrate for every one mole of lithium nitrate. All right, now we have all the conversion factors. We need to do this. So we are going to start at the beginning. So 250 grams is our starting point. 250 grams of lithium sulfate goes over 1 to turn it into a fraction so we can multiply fractions. Lithium sulfate is on the top, so I need to put grams of lithium sulfate on the bottom of the next one. Here's grams. That's 109.5. 109.95. And that is equal to 1 mole of lithium sulfate. So we have it moles of lithium sulfate now. Now to go from moles to moles, we're going to use the coefficients. So that means for every two moles, I'm going to put lithium sulfate on the bottom because of it being on the top on the previous one. So we want on opposite sides. For every two moles of lithium sulfate that are produced, we need four moles of lithium nitrate. Now we have it in moles of lithium nitrate. The question was asking about grams of lithium nitrate. So that means we need to go from moles to grams. I use the molar mass. For every one mole of lithium nitrate that are that's needed, we need 68.95 grams of lithium nitrate. And that gets us in the unit we need it. So 250 divided by 109.95 times 4 divided by 2 times 68.95 is equal to 313.55 grams, which then gets rounded off to 310 grams of lithium nitrate. And that is the end of the stoichiometry practice problems worksheet.